Hey guys, I'm Sean Cheek of WebPianoTeacher.com. Going to do Hollywood Nights, the live remastered version by Bob Seger. She stood there bright as the sun on that California coast He was a Midwestern boy on his own She looked at him with those soft eyes so innocent and blue He knew right then he was too far from home All this Hollywood nights, all right <laughs> How you guys doing? Jonah, thank you, that was great camera work why don't you just take a bow real quick, John, a camera too. Just take a bow. Thank you for being my camera guy. And how about go get me a cold drink? Give me a spindrift. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jonah. All right, everybody. So that's what we're doing. It's a hired request. And uh, a great guy hired me to do this one along with another one. And I thought it'd be cool for you guys to kind of meet him. So just for a minute, he's going to give real quick here. We'll do a, a video. Let him uh, say a few things. Hi, my name is Darren Gardner, and I recently put in two hired requests for Sean Cheek, Bob Seger, Hollywood Nights, and Neil Diamond, Brother Loves Travel and Salvation Show, two of my all-time favorites, um, but I could not find sheet music or tutorials on the internet anywhere on how to play the actual parts in the song on the album. I could find lyrical melodies on the internet, but not the actual pieces in the recordings. So I thought I'd reach out to Sean and see if he would be able to put them together for me. And within two or three days, he had the sheet musics back to me. And now he's working on the videos. So I couldn't believe how fast the turnaround was. Um, I'm excited to learn how to play these. Thanks a lot, Sean. Hopefully there's others out there that are looking for these and now you've helped them out too. All right, so Darren, thank you for that. And uh, this is a great request. I love doing anything that's that's Bob Seger. And uh, thank you, Joan. I appreciate that. All right. And, you know, I can get the music down really quick, but for my to save my life, I cannot remember lyrics, especially on the spot. So I always have to have them written down for me. So, uh, yeah, I was trying to do it, and I could remember, you know, all the chords and everything, but the, the lyrics, you know, it was just so, so I <laughs> had to put them up here for me. So we're going to do the part one lesson here, okay? And um, I like what Darren said about uh, looking for, he, was, he didn't want melody in the right hand, and we're kind of brought up on that as piano players, right? We take traditional lessons, and, and uh, you know, it's not our teacher's fault. I mean, they just get the music from the store. We say, we want to play this particular song, and they get the music for us, and as my teacher used to do that, I had the sweet old lady piano teacher, and it had Melly in the right hand, and I'd be like, man, I want to play what Elton John's playing. I want to play what the piano guy is playing in Seeger's band. Uh, I can't remember his name right now. <laughs> I want to play what Leon Russell is playing. I don't want to play some, uh, you know, Melly in the right hand. To me, it was kind of like elevator music. You know, I wanted the, the real thing, so I love that I get to do that for you guys. I know in the past I've done some Melody in the right hand things, like, very sparsely, mostly because I need the money <laughs> at the time. But uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. I, I mean, some of pe some people just love melody in the right hand. But I think we kind of uh, we cut ourselves off from the wonderful joy of playing and singing. Even if we don't have that great a voice, we can you know give it a shot. And even if we don't sing, we, we can play what they played. You know, uh, that's exciting to me. So let's get to it. Um, we're gonna get to the board and. Uh, you know, we'll have the part one here, and if you like it, you might want to try out my lessons on webpianoteacher.com. All the part ones are free. As a member, as a paying member, you can download, you have the opportunity to download the sheets, and uh, that's, a, that's a great help as well. But I use letters on a whiteboard instead of music notation, as you can see right here, this crazy whiteboard thing. And it works um, for a lot of people, you know? And so let's get, let's get into it. So G sharp, B, E on the right hand, and on the left hand, what I decided to do, I'll put tremolo, I think that should be eighth notes, not sixteenths, but an E octave, 
The bass guitar is doing this kind of deal. And that kind of drives it, you know? The piano's not doing that, I don't think. I think the piano player's just... And you can do that, but uh, you can also do this. You'll find your hand gets a little tired on that. Okay, your left hand is gonna get tired, but if you just if you do it for a couple of days, you'll find you get a lot of strength in your hand, and uh, you can do it a lot longer than you thought you could. You know, you just gotta have never done it before. So that's an option to do, and that just helps drive the song. So that's up to you. That's one of those things that I'm gonna leave to you guys if you wanna just do that or. Okay, so I'm gonna trim below the E in the left hand. I'm way down here because I like the do, 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 do. and I can hear the piano G sharp B right here in the middle, just kind of hanging out. And I like da da da. The piano doesn't always do that, but the guitar rhythm all, all has that kind of a thing, and so it really helps to propel the song forward and make it sound like the album version, I think, or the live version on this album. Then I hear the piano do this, G sharp B. So that's what I'm gonna do. G sharp B, do 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 do. All right, second chord. The first chord was an E chord. E G sharp B. So one, two, three, four. Da, da, da. Now we go to the A chord. A C sharp E. Left hand still on that E. So we do the same thing. Dun. Then I hear him doing C sharp E. Da 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 da. Okay. And then we're gonna have a D chord. F sharp A D. Then we're gonna go up to the same D chord there. It's just a different. It's a an inversion of the same chord. D F sharp A. Up again to F sharp A D. Okay. While the left hand keeps that pedal bass down there. Okay. All right. Um, so if we go from the beginning, one, two, or three, or four. So it goes down like that. It just does D chords. And then we're going to go back to E. I know I don't show that there, but I'll give you that. It goes back to the E chord. And then we start the whole thing over again and do it. Again, so so essentially the song, not all of it, but almost all of it, even the chorus is going to have those four chords in a row. E, A, D, then back to E. While you have that pedal bass the whole time, that, that E on the bottom all the time, okay? Um, so even if you're just a very basic level, you can play this just doing these chords. E, A. And then if you can branch out. Okay, you can, can do that. And then I just, you know, love um, Bob, Bob singing, of course. Just that voice, man. He's, <laughs> even when he's just talking, it's cool, you know. <clears throat> um, so there we go. There's our... Uh, part one, and we finished it on the website. I do the whole thing, and the sheet that you see here is just a little snippet. You know, on the on the the website, you can get the whole thing that I wrote out. I went through every measure meticulously, listened to everything I could pull out, uh, all those neat octave things in the the piano part that the the piano player does. Those are in there. Go through the whole thing for you. It's a lot of fun to sing and play. Um, so hope you guys enjoy it. See you on the website.